If you can't sell your dream, nobody's gonna join you. Whatever you want to learn, you can learn. You know, I'm pretty shy about calling people. I just wanna mail them my chart. <laughs> Rise and shine, it's espresso time. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and this channel was created to help you overcome the number one challenge that is holding you back, a lack of belief in yourself. You watch these videos because you know there's something more inside you too. You have Michael Jordan level talent at something. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message from Dan Pena. Also, if you wanna have more confidence and self-love, check out my 254 series, they're free. The links to join are in the description below. But no one does know initially, up front. You have to try, you have to swing at the plate. A kid like you, if you had to keep track of seven days a week, 24 hours a day, what you do. If you can't sell your dream, nobody's gonna join you. Oprah Winfrey's got a saying about, you know, it's, it's not, exactly important where the bus is going but the people that you have on the bus with you because you're going to morph you're going to pivot which is true and if you are not enthusiastic overwhelmingly enthusiastic that's not been one of my uh, uh, shortcomings I've always been enthusiastic and um, and I've had uh, good good to great co communication skills and the uh, but you don't have if, if you if your communication skills are five percent of mine you have no problem being a billionaire Five percent of mine. Five percent, and that's why I tell you go to improv, go to Toastmasters, etc. I got an F in public speaking in high school. I got an F in public speaking in university, and I got a D in public speaking the second time in university. But then I went and made two two hundred and fifty speeches, where I told you, and some of you don't believe me, they threw plates at me, they threw dinner rolls at me, but I didn't leave the podium. I emptied out auditoriums. My speaking skills were so poor. Whatever you want to learn, you can learn. Public speaking, selling, being a YouTuber, anything. If you want to learn it, there is nothing stopping you except your story. Because you tell yourself that you're too young, that you're too old, it's too late, you're too broke, you don't have the resources, you don't have the connections, you don't have the education, you don't have the right family, there's always a story. You have not learned the skills that you want and need because you've told yourself that you can't. And that's the mindset shift that needs to change now. So I recently made a rap video on my channel. <laughs> it was a Chinese song that I became obsessed with for some reason. I was looking up Chinese music for my wife. I found this one song, I loved it. it. It got stuck in my head. And then for whatever reason, I'm lying in bed. We go to bed at around 10, 30, 11, and lyrics just start popping to my head. I don't understand what the Chinese song is about, but lyrics start popping into my head about a rap. So as I come in, I start writing it down. I try to go back to sleep. More lyrics come, I write it down, go back to sleep. I send myself emails because that's how I get it out of my system. It gets to three something in the morning, 3.30, close to that. And like, you know what? I'm still getting these ideas. I'm just gonna get up and do it. I'm gonna get up and do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up and, and rap. I'm gonna make this rap video. I'm gonna finish off the lyrics and then I'm gonna spend my day making a rap video. It's not how I wanted to plan my day. It was not on my calendar. I was supposed to be sleeping, but I'm gonna wake up and do this rap. We put it all together, uh, did a whole bunch of takes, sent it to Christina to help me edit it. And then the next day, boom, final version was up on the main channel. Now, I don't pretend to have amazing rap skills. Right? I think the lyrics are fire. I think the song is amazing. I think, I think Christina did the best she could with what I gave her. And I think the rap was pretty good. I'm proud of myself. I'm, I'm really proud of myself for in that short amount of time, how good a product I made. I'm emotional, I'm, I'm committed, I'm connected to the song and I'm yelling <laughs> by the end of the song. Now at the same time, people are leaving comments. Some people love it and calling me, you know, Evan M instead of Eminem. Some people are, uh, loving it just because it's me and some people are are nice saying you know what you're not really a rapper but but good effort way to put yourself out there very kind very kind comments here's the thing i could be a great rapper i may not be top one percent rapper but if i practice something I, I could be great at it just like you you could be a great rapper why can't you be a great rapper i think the lyrics are fire i practiced for one day and made a video and that's what came out if I practice every day making rap, I could crush it. Just like making my YouTube videos. I sucked at the beginning. 
I'm a better rapper now than I was a YouTuber at the very beginning of my career. Go back and watch the first video. I sucked. I was shy, introverted, you know, scared of the camera, all of it. And so the audacity to believe that I could be a rapper, right? Doesn't make sense. Whoa. How does that make sense? Just because I have Kanye West on my wall, now I can be a rapper, right? This is what other people will tell us and is what you'll tell yourself. I can't be a rapper, but well, why not? You just don't believe in yourself enough. You can do it, it's practice. Get mentors, practice, put in the work. You can get great at anything, it's a skill. It's just a skill. It's a skill that anybody can learn. Most things are just a skill that anybody can learn, right? To make a great cup of coffee, I suck at it, but I can pick it up, I feel like I can pick it up, it's a skill anybody can learn. There are very few things, very, very, very few things. There are some things that require, you know, a certain amount of athleticism, but Spud Webb could dunk. You know, there's a few things, right? If you are 95 years old and want to be a quarterback in the NFL, that's probably not going to happen. But we easily jump to those exceptions. Meanwhile, the thing that you need to learn that will help you get to where you want to go, that thing, that skill set is totally learnable. There's no reason why you can't do it. There is no reason why you can't do it. So I believe I could be a great rapper. I may not win you know, a, a Grammy, I may not win awards for it, but I could be a great rapper. I could, and so can you. You could be a great rapper, you could be a great entrepreneur, you can be a great YouTuber, you can be a great pianist, you can be a great anything. It's a skill. And with practice and repetition and love and execution and dedication and 6,000 attempts later, you can be great at it. So I'm gonna give you a three-step process, how to believe in yourself more, trust those ideas, and get good at the skill that you need to get good at. Step number one is trust your bold ideas. I believe that the ideas that are coming through you right now are great. They're great. I think we spend too much time judging the ideas. You spend too much time thinking about the idea, too much time trying to make it perfect. Meanwhile, you're great, you're a genius. These ideas coming through you are amazing, and you have to go all in on them. You have to at least try them out. The problem is we don't trust our big ideas. We don't trust them. You may write them down, you might get excited, then you look at the next thing and say, oh, I can't do that. Make a rap, are you kidding me? I can't make a rap, right? We don't trust our big ideas enough. I want you to trust your bold ideas. I believe, and I've, I've trained myself, that the ideas that come to me when I'm feeling bold, the ideas that come to you when you're feeling bold, when you're feeling bold, confident, powerful, unstoppable, an idea comes to you, that is the best thing for you. Those ideas are the best things for you but will quickly, especially the next day, start to judge them and say, oh, well, I can't do that, are you kidding me? Why did I come up with that crazy thing? No, no, now you're back into default mode. You're back into mediocrity land. When you make this little spike up, when you're feeling bold and unstoppable and powerful and confident and you decide on something, you have to go off and do it, build momentum. Build an immediate momentum. And it may lead to the greatest thing of all time, right? When I made my first top 10 video, it was a one-off video on Kanye that then became a giant series for me. And then I made the rap video now and people are saying, when's the album coming out? Uh, there's, no, there's no plan for an album. I don't wanna be a great rapper. Yeah, you know, it's not my ambition right now. I mean, it may change. Maybe, maybe within the next two months, all I think about is rap and then boom, album dropping, let's go. When you get a bold idea, you have to trust them. Stop judging them, stop thinking it's too big, stop thinking you can't do it and find a way to get started. Trust your bold ideas. Step number two is expect to suck. So we have these great ideas, you start doing something, and then what happens? You suck at it. Your first rap is gonna suck. Just the first time you try to you know, get a basketball and you're gonna miss. The first YouTube video you're gonna do will be terrible. Expect to suck. Why do you think you're gonna be great? I don't, I don't understand why we think we're gonna be great the first time out. You will not be great. You are going to suck the first time you try anything. That's part of the process. Expect it. We tie our self-worth to being great at stuff. That's, that's the error, that's the flaw. If you tie your self-worth to how well you do at something, you're only gonna do things that you know you can do well. And thus you play small for life and you never take on new challenges and end up being depressed and unhappy. If you tie your self-worth to trying new things and being proud of the effort you put in, you're gonna create amazing things that you never thought were possible. So you have to expect to suck. First time you do something, you have a bold idea, you're gonna get started, you're gonna do something. You're gonna create, you're gonna make, and it's gonna suck, and that's the best. Let's go. And step number three is the quantity leads to the quality. The more you do, the better you get. At anything, the more you do, the better you get. Dan in this video talked about how he was getting plates thrown at him when he was doing his speeches. People were throwing stuff at him and walking out of the room when he was doing his speeches, right? He sucked at the beginning, awesome. 
Me too. I'm, I'm, I've never had plates thrown at me or people, well, I've had people leave the room, but never plates and food thrown at me. Um, but I've had people not watch the videos. I've had people not call me back to speak at their next event. I've sucked a lot. Go back and watch my first video. It sucked, right? The content was still decent, but my delivery sucked. It wasn't very good. And, and, it, and that's fine. It's normal. How did I get better? 6,000 videos later, right? Practice every day. Practice, 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 practice. I don't know what 6,000 across 10 years is. And honestly, listen, in the first five years of my YouTube career, I didn't take it very seriously. I made a video and then a month later, another video, that kind of thing. And it was only in the past five years that I started going really hardcore. And that's when the growth came. The growth in terms of my skill set, getting better at communication and making videos, but also the growth in the results that happened with the growth of now my multiple channels. And so the quantity leads to the quality. The more you do, the better you get. If you're practicing something once a week, you're not going to get world class at it. Michael Jordan wasn't in a gym once a week practicing his free throws. If you want to become world class at something, it can't just be a once a week thing that you're doing. Your actions have to map to your ambitions. You will never get great once a week. So daily, what is the thing that you want to be great at? What is the skill set that you want to acquire? It's totally achievable. Even if nobody in your family has done it, nobody around you has done it, you can do it. You can, you can do it if you think you can, but then you got to take the action every day. Show me, right? Show yourself every day. Where is it in your calendar that you're going to practice that thing that you want to get world class at? Your actions map to your ambitions. The quantity leads to the quality. You can go off and change the world. Now I have a special bonus clip that I think you're going to enjoy. But before that question of the day, I want to know what is your big, bold idea that you need to trust and start taking action on? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you made it this far in the video, you're still here watching. I want to celebrate you. Give me a hashtag. Believe in the comments as well. Yeah, it was fun when we got to know each other. We would uh be uh, traveling around Lagos where the traffic gives you lots of time to sit and talk uh, <laughs> sometimes. And you know, I'd be showing a leak of my charts about, hey, Sokoto has a pretty low vaccination rate, uh, you know, and Kano needs to do this. And, and Aliko, he really knows people. He has relationships. He's willing to reach out to people. So he'd say, hey, let's call the governor, you know, and we'll yes. talk to him about this. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, you know, next thing you know, we've got the governor of Sokoto on the phone. We're talking about uh, this. And so this ability now to reach out, to draw on the, the broad relationships uh, that Aliko's developed. And, you know, I'm pretty shy about calling people. I just want to mail them my charts. Uh, uh, but in fact, uh, what's come out of that is that uh, Aliko and I do a video conference call uh, with six of the governors in the northern states where uh, twice a year we look at uh, vaccine coverage. You know, is the supply chain working? Are the workers showing up? Are the health care posts in the right locations? Uh, and it's a big challenge. But uh, really drawing on Aliko's communication skills and the fact that he's not afraid to call anyone, everyone he wants to talk to him, uh, it's, it's been <laughs> phenomenal. If you want Dan Pena's advice on how to become great, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. The first 50,000 or 100,000 euros in revenue when you start is geometric growth.